And welcome back to some more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, aka Pokemon Gangster Squad. Good morning, Zeke. So, what do we have on us? Doesn't look like there's any main thread quest quite yet. And the base is complete, by the way. Did that off screen for whatever reason. I was like, oh, I needed like one more, but then I was like, oh, I need another one more, and I was like, oh, I'm done. Alright, just skip my way over there. So I started checking out E3 a little bit, um, and unfortunately, uh, it should have fixed the release dates on that. Uh, by uh, two days, because it was over the weekend as well, it would seem. Like, I don't know what the heck all that was about, but yeah. Uh, so... I was gonna keep going, and I guess, until I get a... You've reached your destination floor type deal. And, uh, yeah, so, I saw, uh, I believe the game was called Anthem or something like that. Uh, there was, ch -ch -ch, trying to think, uh, Wolfenstein 2, I believe it was, from uh, Bethesda, uh, EA's conference didn't start off great, but it did have this, the uh, Star Wars Battlefront thing. Which I suppose if that's something you're into, then that'll probably be the redeeming factor of that. Because otherwise, it wasn't looking so hot. Uh, and now we have, at some point, which I'm probably going to end up missing today is uh the sony uh press conference based on when that's happening uh was good i did say i was trying gonna try to stream those but i still don't know how to stream at all first and foremost and secondly like the timing of it just completely overlapped with my job now so uh you know, complaining about YouTube not monetizing small YouTubers is something I can only do every video because I'm going to keep grinding about it until no one listens and yeah. Anywho. Uh, so, Microsoft hit it pretty big, I suppose. Uh, they're, the naming convention of their new Xbox is kind of ridiculous, uh, but I suppose that's nothing new for them at this point. Uh, the Xbox, the Xbox uh, X was it, or is it Xbox One X? Either way, pretty ridiculous title. I suppose we'll call it the Socks from now on. You want to buy a Socks? Uh, and Sony has, like I said, hasn't gone yet. Uh, that'll be later on today from when I'm recording this video, so. At least I have some way to talk about E3, even though no one will be, not many people will be watching this video. 
uh, I'm extraordinarily tired today too, uh, cause I was like watching E3 and then I was like, oh, I gotta watch all these other videos, God, have to keep up. It's not, it's not an easy life. I'll tell you that. Uh, I don't think I've seen this Pokemon yet. Shuckle. My name is Knuckles, and I don't give a fuckles. Uh... So yeah, I only covered so many games, and I had no clue uh, about how many of the like the two big ones that I just mentioned earlier. I didn't know those were going to be things. So it'll be interesting to see if Sony has anything like that. Oh yeah. Uh, but I mean, the game that I am most interested in, at least for the Sony conference that I'm aware of, was Death Stranding. Uh, so yeah. Alright, uh... As far as this is concerned, I guess we'll just sort of keep going until the plot decides to... That it wants to uh, finally start picking up again. And other than that, I did see the trailer for Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, looked like Sora's outfit has changed. Uh, it seemed like uh, one, of the, one of the moves at least I recognized was the rising, I think it was called the rising tackle or something like that. Where Sora sort of like slings back and forth. And you primarily use that with uh, like this laser beam move when, move when you take out one, the 1,000 Heartless in the middle of the game. So it does look like there are more team moves. Like that, that seems like it's going to be uh, a big a part of it at once again, which is no surprise. Uh, can confirm that Hercules is a world because they showed off uh, Sora fighting off. That rock god. And apparently there's a bigger trailer at one of the later conferences uh, that's going to show off a new world. Uh, oh boy. New move. Protect. Eh. Don't need that. Wait, what? Yes. Alright, there we go. Now we are looking good. What level is this quest on? Jeez. Apparently not this one. Let's keep going, I suppose. Alright. Hmm. Uh, other than that... There are a few things I'm confused about. I thought, because they're they showed off in the trailer that um, at least two members of the organization were still alive. I thought all of them were erased, unless one of the like side Kingdom Hearts games explains why that is. Uh, and they also talked about how, or Sora talked about how he wanted to bring Roxas back. Uh, and I assume that has, again, more to do with one of the side games, because, well, I guess Kingdom Hearts 2 kind of goes into that a bit, how, like, he went back into Sora and so on. Uh, so, it seems like Roxas still has a role to play in the game. Uh, I just wished that for the sake of Kingdom Hearts that they didn't go about how they've been going about this game. Uh, ugh, forget it. And how like, how each of well, these side games came across like these different platforms and it just like, 
it was so hard to keep track of. And I know they made the remakes or whatever, but I was like, eh. Like, I wouldn't even know what versions to get of 1 and 2 if I wanted to get the full experience of, like, everything that's happened. That's one thing I don't like about Kingdom Hearts, and it, the way that it presented itself, it felt like that you had to have known some information about the previous games to understand what's going on. Like some other of the uh, side games as well. So, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't like that very much. I mean, unless they explain it in that game, in Kingdom Hearts 3, that is. Uh, that is the only way I can see like that being like, okay, I understand. Like, ugh. Alright. Jeez, this guy is pretty far wherever he is. Unless this isn't even a quest thing and I just completely overlooked it. <sighs> Let me see, is there a way to... Uh, mission objectives maybe? Just go uh hmm how do i check my quest from here weird i don't know that would seem like a pretty good thing to have, you know. Alright. So, that's all I think I can say about Kingdom Hearts 3. I mean, it still doesn't have a release date, so... It's probably coming out in like 2020. Bobble! Uh... And it's definitely one of those things where I kind of do hope that it just ends here. <sighs> Only because of how, like, confusing it is, has gotten. Huh. Did I skip over something, perhaps? Uh, huh, sure. I could have sworn there was a quest there. Uh, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I am going crazy. Let's uh, check back there, yada yada. I guess not. That was weird. Did I really? Do? Oh, I was one down. Weird. Alright, I guess I'll go to this place first. There we go. Ugh. Hate these, like. These, like, guiding quests, I guess I'll call it. Uh, particularly in this game. And, uh, you know, just, oh, the Pokemon's so weak. Hopefully we won't run into anything too crazy down here. 
I say that as I get fury swiped. Like that probably, something like that probably could have killed the guy I was with. Because that's how weak they usually are. Uh, you have your doom Pokemon following you. Uh, speaking of Doom, I saw a Doom VR. I didn't talk about that at all, I guess, so. Uh, I don't get Fallout VR. That one makes way less sense, because you, you can play that game in first person, so I don't see the, I don't really see the point of it being in VR. I don't know. I feel like that's kind of dumb. But I guess if they want to make a VR Fallout 4, then I guess that's what they're going to do. Alrighty. Uh, what else was there? Yeah, like I said, a lot of... Uh, at both conferences, uh, you know, you had that little, those little, like, short, uh, moments for, um, uh, what's it called? Indie games. So you had that for both of the big ones so far. So... It'll be interesting. I mean, if Sony can't really do anything, I would tr uh, like I said, I think Death Stranding is a guarantee success for them at their for the, at least for the conference sake. But um, yeah, if they don't pull up some more stops than that game, uh, Microsoft, at least in the grammar scheme of things, might quote win E three end quote. Uh, so yeah, that might be the thing that happens, uh, but it, I, I think it is too soon to tell. I, like I said, I don't know a lot of what Sony's been up to besides Death Stranding. Kingdom Hearts 3 was just like, oh, generally announced, so that doesn't, I wouldn't say that would count, I suppose. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else Sony could possibly reveal. There was Hunt, which I talked about. I think that was a Sony thing. Uh, there was... I'm completely drawing a blank right now. And of course, I get to make, uh, I'll probably end up getting to make the joke again of no Digimon World 5 or, uh, or Digimon versus Pokemon. Uh, ear, it's a ditter. No, it's not, it's just a nose pass. Oh. Okay. So yeah, uh, it's going to be interesting to see what Sony can bring to the table. Because the socks, or the Xbox One X, or the socks, or whatever you want to refer to it as, uh, has that backward compatibility, backward compel. oh my god, can't speak today, backward compatibility, there we go, bobble. Uh, so, they they definitely stepped up their game as far as that is concerned. Uh, Sony hasn't really done much in terms of that, which is odd, I find. Because they used to be the ones that innovated that. Uh, but maybe they might just completely focus on games, I don't know. I guess I'll have to find out sometime later in the week, probably on Friday, 
uh, which is when I'll try to attempt to compile a much more in-depth thing for E3, like an official post E3 discussion video of some sort. I know this has primarily been talking about E3 regardless, but you know, there isn't much really going on right now in this game as far as plot, so... You have reached your destination. Ah. I probably could have did all this stuff off screen too, but uh, I was feeling particularly like up uh, recording a video today because uh, I might not get to do that later in the week based off my work schedule. Double team, which raises evasion for some reason. Bobble! Huh, Ditto only gives that much experience? Wow, what a weak ass Pokemon. There we go. Thank you, the twosome left the dungeon. Okay, sure. Oops. Yes. Uh, I wish I automatically went on yes both times. That would make it much more faster. 800 poker. Excellent. We did good today. See you tomorrow. Sure. Man, I am so dead inside. <laughs> what is happening? Flappity flap flap. Clunkity clunk clunk. Alright, I'll probably play one more mission or whatever. And call it a day. Ugh. Alright, so there's two in the Great Canyon. I'll probably go there. Just so I can get more quests out of the way. I'll rush over there. There we go. Uh, what do I have? Alright, I have enough stuff, I suppose, and most of that looks good, like good stuff. Oh, what are you? Done, sparse. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else has gone, been going on? Uh, yeah, I did talk about Wonder Woman in one, one of my previous things. So I did see two other movies that I could check out, which I believe one of them was Baywatch, and the other one I f kind of forgot what it was. It wasn't Captain Underpants, but it was something else. I don't know. Anywho, I'll figure that out some point later in this week somehow, if I ever have time. There's never enough time. Alright, I guess we'll just keep going. Uh. Hmm. They really should have added like some sort of quest, like check thing, instead of just saying, oh, your quest is here on this floor. Seems a little bit lazy. I think that would, uh, having some sort of quest log would be appreciated. I don't particularly like 
uh, finding item quest or having the item with you quest, yeah, I probably like that even less than the actual guiding quest in this game. Because, like, you have to go through so much nonsense just to get an item, just to, like, give it to somebody and then you get another item or items. It's, like, kind of unnecessary and a waste of time, in my opinion. Uh, bum 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 bum. And what are you? Um, more. Mark Rowe. Okay. Easy peasy. Alright, try up here. Nope, no destination floor. Did I go on the wrong thing again and just not pay attention? Goodness gracious, I really hope not. Alright, still got nothing. Oh, I think the other movie that was there was The Mummy. And I completely forgot that that was a movie. Because, like, uh, it's just another reboot, so... And it seems like that movie seemed pretty negative reviews. I mean, I haven't seen any, but I like I've seen like thumbnails that like showed people like disappointed in the movie. So I'm gonna assume that that movie has more negative feedback than positive. Uh, which, by the way, oh there we go. So I did pick the right floor. Uh, the whole monster, the mo the whole monster universe thing that they wanted to do with that. Um, you know, if the mummy ultimately fails, then this whole monster universe thing that they attempt to want to do might not even hit off the floor. You know. Uh... I mean. It feels like there was so much of a wasted opportunity and they probably should have started with something a little bit more perhaps uh, like original well maybe not well not original but like not the mummy <laughs> if that makes any sense like, use one of the classic monsters, but not use the mummy from the mummy. It seems like a very odd movie to start with, if you're gonna do a whole monster universe. You would want- I think you would want to start with something a bit more, like mainstream like Dracula perhaps even though there have been pretty recent Dracula movies uh, or maybe like a new werewolf movie I don't know werewolves haven't been recent in a while in a bit actually at least not in the cool way not to my knowledge, anyway. Um, trying to think of other, like, more popular monsters. Uh, there's the monster from Frankenstein. I can do that. Alright. Have a look around here. And then we shall end all the tear. All right, get out of the zone. Out of zone.
They are not a sponsor. I don't have sponsors because I'm too small. And I don't get paid by YouTube because YouTube sucks for that. Oh, that's right. He does the absorb from the attack. Uh, oh, man. I'm thinking I'm actually kind of useless here. There we go. There we go. All right, so don't take the stairs. Uh, bobble. And that's that, wow. All right, those all look like dead ends. All right, try up here, I suppose. Hmm, doom. Uh, I'm really struggling to find words right now. It's way too early. Oh boy. Uh, nothing I can do. Alright, let's see where the path takes us. It looks like it just brings us to... Huh. Alright, so I'm gonna guess it's over here then. Whatever I'm looking... Oh, come on. Alright, uh, let's see. Do I have any... All right, so let's put that on. Suppose I can still use the normal tackle. There we go. Probably should have did that the first time. Uh, okay, that brought me all the way back there. So I'm gonna guess that it's the next path. Who? Beautiful. Alright, so it has to be here, right? That's a weird place to put the Pokemon. Whoops. Slugma. Magical power. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Every time. Two missions done for the price of one. Ooh, Sky Gummy. Eh. 40 points, sure, why not? 600 Poke, 40 points. We did good today. Show did. Yeah. The, oh, the next morning. What's this? Oh, oh, oh wow, another earthquake. Wow, as soon as I say the plot doesn't thicken, look at this. I guess it's settled down. There have been a lot of earthquakes lately. Alright, let's save it again. So we don't have to sit through that little cutscene again, I suppose. And let's call it here, so... If you like this video somehow, then please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. But until next time, everyone, bye!